Hey guys, what's up? Michael M Productions here, and we have recently gotten the images of the official LEGO Ninjago movie sets. Personally, I am excited, so I cannot wait. I'm gonna like make a video about the top 5 LEGO sets of the LEGO Ninjago movie that are about to come out, which are probably coming out in August, which I cannot wait, so I hope you prepare your money, because I know I am. For number 5, we have the Master Falls. Honestly, I really like the bridge, because it's so cool. And I like how there's Sensei Wu and Gamanon fighting on it, and it looks like a jungle. And I like the skeleton in the background with the map. That's pretty cool. And then Kai's hanging on it, which is also awesome. And Gamanon has his own jungle outfit, which is super cool. And I just really like it. It just looks really cool. For number 4, we have the Green Ninja Mech Dragon. And it looks kind of awesome because it's Lloyd and Wu on a giant green dragon. And I like Garmadon in the background, like, shooting them with a laser. And then there's a guy with a fish, which is cool. But, like, the green dragon looks especially cool because of its green eyes and its purple breath. And I like the overall design of it. It looks kind of better than the actual green dragon from 2016. I mean, I like, I like that one too, but this one just has more personality, if you know what I mean. For number 3, we have Kai's Fire Mech, and it actually looks amazing because it can shoot out fire. I mean, there's one in 2012 that can do that, but it was small, and this one just seems to be a lot more bigger and a lot more cooler, especially with the blue eyes and the flex on the top. For some reason, this reminds me of the Firefighter Vehicle from the LEGO Movie. I guess it's because they're like almost the same, but not exactly. For number 2, we have the Destiny's Bounty, and it looks really amazing because of how big it is. The other three bounties were awesome, but they weren't as big as this one. This one's like 170, which is amazing. It has like two heads instead of one, and it has a bunch of different flags on, which is cool, because the other ones didn't have flags like those. And it almost has all the characters, I believe, like the main characters, except for Garmin, I think. But yeah, yeah, it's like really cool, and it, it could probably hold a lot of minifigures, and it's, it's like really amazing, just in general. And then for number one, we have the Temple of the Ultimate Ultimate Weapon, which is $99.99, which sounds really cool. And it's a huge temple with a cage made of skeleton bones and gargoyles, or what kind of creatures are those? They're like rock monsters, but anyway, it features most of the ninja, and it's really tall, and it ha has some kind of an ultimate ultimate weapon. I, that's totally a Lego movie name, yeah. But like, I wonder what this ultimate ultimate weapon is, but I guess we'll find out in the movie. But it just looks really cool, and especially like the overall design of it with like the roof and the doors behind it, and how it's different than all the other Ninjago temples, so it's pretty amazing. I'm totally gonna buy it when it comes out. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up the video, but these are just my personal top 5 favorites. What do you guys think are yours? Let me know in the comment section below. So anyway, thank you for checking out this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you around.